Um, I want to share with you today my basal body temperature chart. Um, this isn't really Japanese info, particularly. I mean, because Western people do this too. Other countries do this too. It's basically just pregnancy info. But because it seems rather promoted here, or at least it has been to me, I'm going to include this in the uh, Japanese uh, playlist. Basal body temperature uh, is basically charting your body's natural temperature day to day to see how it changes and fluctuates, which can give you clues about your overall health and especially about your menstrual cycle. Even before I was attempting to get pregnant, my mother-in-law gave me a, one of these books and one of the special basal body uh, thermometers just so that I could keep record of my temperature and get an idea of what was happening with my body so um, I could take it to doctor's appointments and that kind of thing. I don't know how many women actually do this here. This might just be something that my family or my mother-in-law uh, advises. But the doctor did seem pretty pleased to know that I was keeping track of my basal body temperatures when I announced to him that I was going to stop the pill and start getting pregnant. And I recommend this so highly to anyone, especially to people who are having trouble uh, conceiving. And what you do is you want to take your temperature at the same time every morning. Uh, your temperature will vary during the day according to activities and according to motion, according to the temperature outside, and those kinds of things. So if you take your temperature in the morning, before you wake up, before you get up, before you go to the bathroom, before you drink anything, uh, first thing, then you have the most stable assessment of your temperature for that day. Uh, your your basic body temperature, not counting other factors. That's what you're going for. So I, what I do is I set my clock at a certain time early in the morning. And I wake up, and all I do is check my temperature. And then I go back to sleep if I'm going to sleep late that day, or I get up if I have to get up early. But the point is I set the clock for the same time every day and take my temperature. Now this is a basal body temperature thermometer, so it's more sensitive because you're looking for tiny changes. And then I record it in this book every day. Now you should start to see a pattern. If you're not releasing eggs, if you're not ovulating, then there won't be a pattern. It'll just be up and down and it'll look really strange. But if you're having normal cycles, if you're ovulating, you can tell exactly by looking at this when you ovulated or when you're going to ovulate those kinds of things. This is the description in the uh, book here of what a normal cycle should be like. And your temperature, this is during the period part at the beginning, your temperature should be pretty low. And then at some point it immediately jumps up and that's when the egg was released. The egg releasing uh, causes some kind of chemical change in your body that uh, causes your temperature to rise rather high to a temperature that would support pregnancy. And if you, the egg is not fertilized and your temperature drops back down and you have a period and you start your cycle over. And that's a normal cycle. If you're pregnant, it just stays high. So this can also be kind of one type of pregnancy indication. If there's no change at all, you can suspect that you did not release an egg. Now my personal chart um, was very strange. I had stopped the pill for a long time before now. And this is when I had a cold, so I just drew a line connecting these dots because these I, I threw out. I disregarded them because I was sick and had a fever. Now, as you can see, uh, at this point, it suddenly goes up to a whole different level. And this is when the egg was released. And this was my first cycle after stopping the pill. This cycle, I did not, uh, the egg was not fertilized. So my temperature dropped back down and I had a period. And the cycle starts over again. Now, as you can imagine, knowing exactly when your egg comes out gives you a really good idea of when your period's going to start. Because it's pretty constant. Some women have a shorter one. Like here it's only 9. But usually and most often it's 14 days. So after you, get, after you chart a couple of months, you can figure out exactly when your period's going to start. And that's always useful, especially if you have a irregular cycle. 
because like me I was having an irregular cycle as you can see it's very long it's only supposed to be one month about this long but mine was twice as long about two months so if I had not been charting my temperatures like this I would have no idea when my period was coming but by doing this um, I can tell exactly it's going to be about for me nine or ten days after after the egg was released now I had just come off birth control pills so I don't know if my cycle would have gotten more natural or not more normal you're supposed to have 14 days before the egg drops and 14 days after the egg drops for 28 days but as you can see my cycle was pretty screwy this part was really long and the part where the egg dropped was really short so I was not expecting pregnancy so easily as you can see finally my temperature got really low and started rising gradually which is also kind of odd very strange usually it's just a sharp sharp increase from the lowest point but at this point you can see it does suddenly jump up to the different range so after that my temperature got a little higher and my pregnancy was confirmed around here and the temperature stayed high after that my doctor told me to continue taking my basal body temperatures even after I was pregnant I uh, in the USA they'll usually tell you there's no reason to take them anymore because a lot of women will freak out if the temperature drops some because the temperature dropping after this point can indicate miscarriage it'd be just like when your period starts the temperature would drop back down to the normal range and you would have a menstrual cycle where the uh, egg the fertilized egg or the baby was uh, expelled from the body so it can indicate miscarriage so they advise you not to continue but my doctor here in Japan uh, told me to continue so I did and I'm still continuing and as you can see I've gotten quite a ways into the pregnancy now I'm about halfway um, also if you notice you can see that it has slightly dropped little by little as time progresses it goes slightly back down so yeah this is what BBT charting looks like until the 20th or 21st week of pregnancy and even though the doctor doesn't really check this anymore I'm going to continue keeping track of it just out of curiosity and just as a general uh, a general indication of health. Now you can get these at any drugstore in Japan. You'll see the books like this right beside the thermometers for this uh, purpose. You want to make sure you use a BBT thermometer, not a usual thermometer. Uh, this cost me about 20 bucks, I think, and this was about three bucks. And there's enough in here to last, I think, at least a year or so.